At this point, you should have gathered all your content for your web page. Uh, next order business is messing around with some of Dreamweaver's preferences and layout. So I'm starting with uh, right now Dreamweaver is in its default state. I haven't configured anything or tweaked anything for it specifically but what I want to do is show you some options or preferences I'm going to set for it as well as uh, maybe how I want my my overall layout to look my my workspace if you will so I'm going to start by going to my Dreamweaver preferences and um, you know honestly 95 percent of these preferences are, are just fine the way they are um, one thing that's interesting is in copy and paste you see some options on it says if you paste it from somewhere else what is it going to bring in text only text with structure text plus basic formatting blah 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 uh, this is where I kinda make that's why I, I mentioned the importance of bringing stuff in from a plain text editor um, sometimes I like the format because if you select text only uh, and you copy, for example, and paste uh, this whole section over here into Dreamweaver. Well, it's not going to put anything in for there. Um, and I, if you actually leave it to its default text with structure, um, it'll at, at least put paragraph tags on here. It'll likely put paragraph tags on this, which to me, I think that's cool because it's a time saver. I mean, the only thing I have to do to make sure that's not generating too much unnecessary code is put stuff in a plain text editor and for me it's easier to do that than um, just bring this in as text only and then format everything myself so uh, really a personal preference this would be one thing to play with when you're copying and pasting stuff in I leave it alone I, I leave it at its default which is fine with me so uh, going down the line over here, the other thing that I usually do is in my new document section, I select all by default all new documents to be HTML 1.0 strict. Uh, this is something you could change, but I just change it because that's anytime I start a new page, if it's up to me to define the the uh, doc type for it, I'm going to select 4.0 strict. Um, 4.01 strict rather. Um, the doc types, it's long story short, the HTML 4.01 strict is uh, probably the one that, that puts the most emphasis on, on um, non-presentational -present, elements in the HTML. Doesn't mean we don't have, we have less flexibility in how we style the document. No, no. We just basically have lex less styling flexibility within the HTML, which is what you want to do anyway, because you, you don't want to put any styles in the HTML. Um, and probably the biggest one oops, is uh, preview and browser. And this is where you're going to select um, what browsers uh, you could preview them in through Dreamweaver. Now, mind you, you could preview your pages in any browser but it's just it's how you're setting up the buttons to act so you kinda of have like a quick way of doing it now I'll tell you this much if you're working with basic web pages just HTML and CSS and even no JavaScript there's really like as far as your primary and secondary you don't want to set Chrome and Safari as both of them Chrome and Safari are actually going to render uh, pages almost identically in that respect because they both use a rendering engine called um, WebKit. Now, WebKit is the is the engine that crunches your HTML and CSS code into what you see on the page. Uh, Firefox, on the other hand, uses Mozilla, which actually used to be Netscape, and um, what is it? Internet Explorer. I think, I think they call it Trident, and I forgot what Opera is called. Um, the point being is that if you're on a on a uh, PC, then you're going to want to throw Internet Explorer here as well. Um, but if you if you kind of put them between Firefox and Chrome as your second your primary and secondary, um, that would be best. I would actually probably go Google like 
web browser statistics and see which the most popular browser is nowadays and if you don't have it download it and set that as your primary so I'm gonna go with Firefox as my primary I'll leave Google Chrome as my secondary um, actually it's funny I like I think I'm gonna set that as my secondary and this is my primary it's just a semantic thing really I just like command F12 is easier for me to use and I am gonna try to see if I could put Internet Explorer on here as well um, where do I have it because um, I use a software that virtualizes Windows on my Mac um, and I so I do have Internet Explorer on there. I, I use this virtualization software called Parallels. Okay, and I'll just leave it on there. Browser no longer. Uh, well, I don't know what that means, but we'll worry about that later. And okay, I guess. Oh, I could edit the way it's going to be. Firefox. That's cool. Uh, I don't need Google Chrome. I could just have Chrome. And let's just say we'll do. Um, I'm just going to do IE. This is just uh, the way it appears on the um, in your button. So that's that's you could the way I named them is just for me. You name them whichever way you want. And then uh, okay, actually, so before I go on, uh, I'm done over here. And finally, the last option is the W3C validator. And it says if no doc type is detected, validate against. And let's just use that another one that HTML 4.01 strict. Um, this may not make too much sense now, but it'll make sense later. Uh, basically, the validator is it checks your code, and you just want to make sure that when you're writing stuff up, that you know you didn't miss like a bracket or a you know you closed a paragraph because. Um, when you forget to do stuff like that, that's when you get these weird errors. So, um, all right, I'm pretty much all done with my preferences. And the final thing is I'm going to just look at my my actual layout. Let me minimize this stuff so it's not uh, confusing. Okay, here's my layout. I haven't actually created a new page yet, but let me just start uh, by creating a new page. By the way, by changing the doc type declaration uh, in in the preferences, see when I just went to create a new page, it sets it as 4.01 strict. But you know you could still change it later, so it doesn't really matter. It just kind of makes it easier uh, for right away. And I'm going to hit create. And remember how I was renaming my browsers? If you look at it, here they are. You see? I mean, it used to be Internet Explorer, and it'd say Internet Explorer. Uh, come on, get that out of there. Uh, it's, it would say Internet Explorer all the way through. I don't need that. That's that's the only reason. It would say Preview in Google Chrome. I just changed it to Chrome. So, um, all right. Now, as far as the layout I have here, um, there's some stuff I just don't need. This this whole database. I'm not doing any database stuff. Um, so I'm going to take out all that stuff. So it kind of gives a little more space over there. Um, let's see. This is, by the way, I want to say that this is just starting with the classic look, and now I'm just from there. I'm just tweaking that. Uh, CSS styles, I like. That's good. Nothing too crazy here. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I want to see if there's anything else that. Oh, the properties that'd be useful. Yeah, I definitely want the properties. I don't want to waste all this real estate over here because I'm on my laptop. So let me pop properties right in this bar over here. Okay, and I'll keep that over there. All right. Let me see if there's anything else I want to use. Files. Oh, I have files, don't I? Yeah, files is right here, so that's an important one that I'll be using. Um, tag behaviors. History sometimes you use, but I'm, I'm okay without it. Um, yeah, okay. I'm good to go, so I'm, I'm pretty much set. So if this is the layout I like, I know I didn't make any huge monster changes to it, um, but why don't I at least save it? So I'm going to go layout and... Uh, 
manage work let's see oops let me I'll, I'll go right here to new workspace and I'll call this Dragos default and boom so now what I do there is since I have Dragos default if I say I choose a different one and it changes things on me I could just go here and go back to Drago's default and there we go so I'll, I'll, that way I kinda have a uh, a common interface that I'm looking at all the time as I as I work through Dreamweaver um, I didn't do too much to the standard classic which is always fine for me but uh, it seems like th it really depends on the site because I took out the database stuff that would have been really useful if I was working with something with like a SQL back end to it. But since I'm not, you know, the old classic layout with a little bit of tweaks is good enough.